All right, today is the day, and we are on our third suspension control arm. That is the rear lower control arm. And also when I get to the fourth one, the front lower control arm, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do some explanation of the steering geometry and some of the drawings that I've done to uh, set up the suspension. But I guess you really don't care about what's in the next video, you wanna see what's in this video, so let's go take a look at that. Now these lower control arms are gonna be built a little bit different. Rather than use the large red urethane bushings, they're gonna be using uh, rod ends of course, they have urethane bushings in them as well, but they're much smaller and adjustable with the rod ends. So to make this really easy, I just bought these weld-in threaded bungs to thread those rod ends into. Pack weld those, weld those bungs into place. Now these bungs are going into these tubes, which are going to be the main structure of these control arms. The one tube has a rod end on each side. And then the other tube is actually split, giving us a little more span or a little more width for some leverage on the frame. And the tubes are spaced and joined with these water jet cut plates. So here you can see these two tubes are pointing. There are going to be the hub side. And just doing some trial fit with the uh, I guess this is the only place that's uh, critical is the distance on that hub side because everything's going to be adjustable on both sides. Tack weld these pieces into place. Now you don't need a jig to hold these A-arms in position because the water jet cut parts usually set the spacing correctly. Although if the pickup points were fixed onto the subframes, I might have to worry about that. But since I'm going to be placing the pickup points on the subframe by using the control arms themselves, I don't need to build a jig to hold these control arms together while I'm welding them. Now you'll see on there little tabs sticking up on one of those little plate components. That is the bolt-on point for our sway bar link. Now I got these tubes all in place, everything fixed and tack welded in place. Now it's just a matter of going through and doing all the final welds, which there's quite a bit. All these, these although that these are these short tubes, once you add it all up, it's quite a lot of footage of welding. So here's all the rod ends, putting the bushings in them. Again, using that uh, terribly sticky silicone grease for the pins. Prep all these uh, rod ends, get ready to assemble them. Now I've gone and powder coated the A-arms themselves. And I'll be bringing those out and start to assemble those. Put some jam nuts on the rod ends. Well, little silicone plugs to get my threads clean during the powder coating. And just a matter of threading all these rod ends in. Now, of course, these adjustments will adjust my camber caster. And so that'll all be done, of course, finally on the car. But right now we're just going to go ahead and set it up. We know what the distance should be according to our drawings and calculations, so... I'm going to go ahead and just set all these up, even though they're going to be set aside for a while before that's actually assembled onto the subframe. Taking one side and just making them distance set off of those welded bungs. Once one side's set, seems like this is a little trouble turning it. But once one side's set, then I can just go ahead and uh, get to where I need it. Measure it center to center. It looks close. And this is the powder coating. It's called Black Diamond. Came from Eastwood. Kind of a nice color. All right, so here are some of the pieces for the pickup points for this lower control arm. This piece needs to get bent, and it will fit together with this one. The rear point is going to be tied in against this uh, 
in a diagonal brace. This is be sitting in here. Another one here. That control arm sit right in there. Line up with that. We'll pivot in there. There you have the third suspension component we built. Number four suspension component is coming up. Also coming up, being that this is the 48th video that I've posted, that means that the number 50 video is coming up. I'm making a special video for that occasion. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and jump down below and subscribe. Ring the little bell icon so that YouTube will notify you when those videos become available. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a link over here to some of the other suspension components and a subscribe icon, our little logo there. So go ahead, subscribe, ring the bell icon, and thanks for coming by and hope we see you again.